Gal, aka Re, and I'm doing kind of another haul, kind of like a review today. And you may notice this time, but I am sitting down for this video because I have, um, it's like, I think it's, uh, how you say it, it's mastitis, but basically, I think that a duct in one of my boobies is clogged, so that's causing, um, like, it's like flu like symptoms. It just feels like I'm, like, my whole body is just like drained and I feel drained and I feel tired but I really want to get this video out for you guys because I've been holding on to this makeup for like a long time I ordered some of the makeup from MAC and that means I woke up super early in the morning I was on the website I got in line and I purchased some of it and the weirdest thing happened okay so I was doing two orders. One order was for me and the other order was going to be for someone else and they were going to give me the money in cash for everything else. Like, uh, So I had the money in my account, we were getting our own things. So the first transaction goes through. But because Mac for some reason did the first purchase, like they did like three different transactions. So I put in the second order and it doesn't go through like the money's there of course there's money to cover that even like it's like enough it's enough for like more than one order it's enough for like three orders it's like enough we spent like 97 dollars for the first order it's not a big deal but um well it is kind of a big deal i'm not used to spending that much on makeup i'm just getting into the makeup game but whatever so we go back on the website to order like to do the order over we go back on the website and all the things from our previous order is out of is out of stock. Like, okay, so I call. We talk to customer support. There's nothing they can do about it. And um, we call my bank, and they're just like, "Oh, the reason this happened is because they did so many transactions on your card that we just thought that someone had, you know, stolen it. That someone had stolen your card and was shopping with it. So, but um." I guess that would be a thing because I'm not, like I said, I'm not into makeup, so maybe it was a red flag for me for there to be such a huge purchase makeup wise. I've been spending a good amount of money on makeup lately, but whatever. I failed to mention, is, I should have mentioned this earlier, the reason we did the two transactions as well is because we both wanted the bandana that came with you, like, spent a certain amount. You got this collectible bandana, like a Leah bandana, so we both wanted one, and so we did another transaction. So I'm like, okay, um, this sucks. I get up super early. I wait in line. You know, I have to be at work. Like I have to leave for work around like 11 ish, and I think it went on like like 10 in the morning. So I rush through these transactions. You know, everything is supposed to go according to plan. And now one order didn't even go through, and that been like you know like the bandana is not gonna happen. The things we wanted are out of stock. So then. It's like, okay, we are going to do this. We're going to buy stuff from Macy's. Okay. Now, I'm going to say this one time. And one time only. From now on, <laughs> if they have a Big Mac release and they're also selling it at Macy's, I'm just going to wait for Macy's. Like, it was A1. Like, I get that people did this because they wanted to be the first one to get their Leo products and get their hands on it so they could run to YouTube and do reviews, blah, blah, blah. But the stress was non existent for Macy's. Like, A, plus, you didn't have to pay for shipping for the stuff. Like, you could have just bought the one lip gloss from the Leo line and it was free shipping, which is perfect. Like, the next day, we wait. Like, their stuff was online. They were like, eight in the morning you know like we didn't have to wait that long and I checked like a week later and they still weren't out of stock meanwhile Mac went out of stock like within hours so Mac Macy's Mac Macy's <laughs> okay so I for myself only got the lip products so I got like all the lipsticks and all the lip glosses so this is what they look like in their packaging. I'll do like a little pan over that, but 
I will review each one for you because I saw that Aaliyah palette it was like $32 it was super small and I'm not gonna pay $32 for a super small palette I'm sorry you've seen if you've watched my other hauls I have the take me back to Brazil palette and I got it on sale for like $12 and then shipping I'm not gonna pay $32 for like a palette that's like this big but it was in the order but it was someone else's so I didn't open it to show you guys but I'm pretty sure you can find a video of someone who opened up the makeup and all that like I'm pretty sure maybe I could have changed the same look with like a different palette I mean the hues I understand it has Aaliyah's name on it I understand but they weren't like so out of this world that you can't replicate the the palette with like well you I'm trying to say not to disrespect Mac or to put any shame on Aaliyah's name but so let's start this um review yeah let's start this review so the first one I'm going to start off with is this is Lily's Motor City and it's like a peach color and I really like peach colors and like um I tend to get like light colors or like well I'll pan on this for you because it's not we're gonna try that one So this is Lily's Motor City on me. I kind of like it for like um, something light, something kind of glittery, something kind of peachy. Yeah, so that's Lily's Motor City. And to show each one, I'm going to be using this little bag of Huggies I have laying around because I'm a mom. And a lot of moms discover that baby wipes can be pretty much used for anything, like clean anything up. So. I hate that I'm wasting the the lipstick, but how else am I going to show you guys? I'm going to wear everyone out this week. Okay. I feel like, I feel like that just exfoliated my lips, too. So, life tip. If you want to exfoliate your lips, use Huggies Baby Wipes. Next, we're going to do At Your Best, You Are. So, this is not as dark as I thought it was going to be. But it's kind of like, it reminds me of um, kind of like your lips after you eat some cherries or something. Not as, nearly as dark as I thought, but maybe we applied this over some like dark lipstick or something or you combined it with one of the lipsticks from the collection. I'm not going to combine any of the lipsticks or anything because I want you to see how they look on me, like unaltered, straight out of the packaging and onto my lips. So that's what we're doing with that. One in a million. I really dig the packaging. I feel like that really is, that's something they accomplished really well. I feel like they did succeed in finding a packaging that represented her well. So, that's a plus. I did skip out on getting the black lipstick because I really didn't feel the urge to get it. I'm not going to buy something just to put it in the video and have it laying around my house for no reason. I'm going to buy things that I think look cool and interesting. Like something I'm going to wear. So, this is again... One in a million. It's really dark, and I feel like it's not going to be as dark as I would hope it to be. So you'll probably have to combine it with the black lipstick that she had in her collection. Or just a random black lipstick they can get from the store. So, it's kind of like a gothic lip tint. Like, I'm really digging it. Look at it. I mean... I like dark colors. I said I wear more colors, but I like it. I like the lip gloss formula, and I like how they smell. It's kind of like a shea butterish, a shea buttery smell. Um, I don't know if that's the wrong way to describe it, but it smells really good, and it feels good on the lips. One is the pearl color. It's um, Brooklyn born. Really shimmery, really shiny. This is the last lip gloss before we go on 
to try the three lipsticks that I purchased. So. That shimmer though. It's okay. It's okay. I mean, I'm not gonna hate on it. It's not something I think I would normally wear. Kind of reminds me of Xenon and like the Xenon movies, but that's not a bad thing. You know, not a bad thing. It's one of my favorite movies growing up. So, yeah, let's just move on to the lipsticks because this is cute, but it's not my style, really. I thought it was going to look a little bit different. I don't know what I expected. I didn't watch any of the Leah review videos, so I just wanted to go into this kind of blind and, yeah. Yeah. And these lipsticks kind of look like bullets. Like the, well, I hope I'm not offending anyone when I say that. I hope I'm not offending anyone when I say that because this generation is super triggered, but I'm just saying that's what it's shaped like. Well, it's a fantastic nude for me, I guess. I feel kind of like it's like a light frap color, camo frap or something. But I guess if I were to put something on top of it, like lip liner, or I could just pull off the nude look. Um, I guess that's saying something, saying that it's really hard to find nudes when you're someone of color. So I'm going to give this a thumbs up. You know... Um, I'm not saying I'm let down the, by the collection at all because you buy it and you kind of, you know, you have an idea of what you're going to get. But I don't know if these colors are really popping on me, you know. It's not like I bought the makeup to look exactly like her. But I don't know. I guess I just feel like as someone who buys a lot of, like I kind of buy things on a budget when it comes to makeup. Like I don't like to spend too much on it. Like, if you haven't noticed, I'm kind of wearing foundation right now, kind of. And it was like a four-ish, five-dollar-ish foundation for, um, from five dollars from Black Radiance. So, I don't know. This collection's really pretty, but it's not wowing me. I don't know. I don't know if it's just because I'm like a makeup skeptic. I don't really know how to contour or bake my face or any of that stuff. But... You know, I'm, it's nice to have, like, to support her collection, I guess. It's nice to have done that and participated in something that was so huge for the Aaliyah fan community. So this is going to be Hot Like, and it's like a dark red-ish color. I don't wear a lot of reds. I feel like I look funny wearing red, but we'll see how it looks on me. And I'm not using lip liner. I just want to show you how it looks off bat without anything added to it, so... What do you think? Like I said, I feel like I look weird in reds, but I bought it anyways because Aaliyah could always pull off like that classic red. Her and Selena both had that in common. One thing I gotta say about these lipsticks though, from someone who buys like those $2 um, Wet n Wild lipsticks, these apply like butter, They're really smooth. They feel great on the lips. So that's one thing I can say. So last but not least, we have the more than a woman color and I'm liking this one the most thus far because it's really pretty guys. I love dark colors. I like plummy colors and fall colors and so I'm looking really forward to wearing this one. Let's see. I like it. I don't really see a significant difference between this and the other one I tried on, but maybe you will. Um, I guess it's just like a tint darker. But yeah, um, that was my Aaliyah try on review video. I'm sorry that it may have not been like I'm not my usual like joyous self. I'm trying to be, but guys, like, oh, I feel so drained and I feel so gross. Yeah.
I hope you guys can understand. And um, thank you so much for supporting my channel. I'm so excited to hit 1,000 channel views. I am really stoked. And I'm so excited to continue on with this channel. Um, rest in peace to Aaliyah. She was a a fantastic like her legacy is huge and i still have hopes that one day we will have a Aaliyah an Aaliyah biopic that's like on the same level as the selena biopic i don't think there's anyone out there who could really serve for justice but i think her story could be told in a way more tasteful way than how it went down so i noticed um that these kind of are <laughs> kind of similar let me see so i have this i'm sorry the label is like off and all that but because I put it in a makeup bag and I guess I overfilled it because one day when there were labels and stuff and the next day it's all scratched off but this is a lip gloss from Black Radiance I'll put the exact color up across the screen so I'm going to do a swatch of this so this is the Black Radiance color you see that I'm gonna try it on too for you guys. But this is like cheap compared to what these other lipsticks were. So this is the Black Radiance color. And we're gonna try out the one in a million next to that. So let's focus. And then we'll try out the other lip gloss after that, the other dark shade. And at the end, I'll show you how the Black Radiance lip gloss compares. So we're going to put one in a million in the middle. And next, we're going to try At Your Best You Are. Um, yeah, and for everyone who feels kind of duped by the selection, I feel like everyone goes into this kind of have an idea, especially if you watch other reviews, and if you still bought the collection and you want to complain about it, you kind of know what you're getting into. Like, I didn't watch any of the reviews, but I've heard things from people, and I'm going to say that the collection is fantastic compared to what it could have been. It could have, like, everything can always be better. Everything can always be improved, but I'm just saying... Maybe I can't really speak on it because I didn't really get, like, real heavy into the reviews. I didn't buy the bronzer. I didn't buy the lip liners. I didn't buy all that stuff. I just bought what I usually wear, which is lip glosses and kind of lipsticks, like, every now and then. But thanks for watching my channel. Like, comment, and subscribe if you're so tuned. And bye. hard to say what I want my legacy to be, you know, what I want people to say when I'm long gone. I want people to look at me as a full-on entertainer and a good person. So, you know, we'll talk a few years down the line and we'll see where my head is at then, but that's what I want for right now. And side note, I did skip out on getting like a few little... Oh, Lord, have mercy.